We made it! I just grow the water, grow the water, water, water! Join the besties gang simply by subscribing down below. Let's give you a moment. Let's give you a second. Period. And if you're returning, hello, hi, bestie. Hello, hi, cutie. As you already know, it's just way too much fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to pump up my energy because I'm so tired. But I want to give my bestie some energy. And I want to, hey, have myself up for the day hey 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 <laughs> hey besties um yeah man this vlog is gonna be like bittersweet like <gasps> screaming because it's the final week besties it's the final week here at michigan state university oh my gosh campus cutie is coming to an end I don't like that. I don't like that. But yeah, it's the final week as Mandela Washington Fellows. Um, it's so crazy. It's crazy how time flies. Like at the start of this, when they said, oh my gosh, you guys are leaving for six weeks, it felt like daunting. Like six weeks felt like a lifetime. And then here we are now on the flip side and it's like, where did all the time go? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's redo this. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, today's Tuesday. I wanted to start vlogging yesterday, but I did not wake up feeling well yesterday. My sinuses were up. My allergies. I was having an allergic flare-up. My eyes were even puffy. It looked like I was crying because it was so itchy. Um, but I'm feeling much better today. I'm a little bit more rested today. Still a bit tired. Um, but I'm feeling better. So I'm going to really try and commit to bring you guys along for the final week. Anyways, so today, today is not too much of a busy day. We do have academic sessions today. We've got two academic sessions and then we've got a networking session which is really exciting because we're going to be having um previous mandela washington fellows uh, and then um later i'm gonna go shopping with godfrey i think um and i don't know who else wants to come but we're gonna go shopping because i need to get some like gifts and stuff for like people back home like I can't come back home empty handed, so I need to get some of that. That's what we're gonna do today. The rest of the other days I think are a bit more interesting. I hope I don't cry. I hope I don't cry. They're interesting, but like they're also sad because it's like farewell dinners and this and like final stuff. So that's scary, okay? Um, but yeah, let me take you through today and then we're gonna go right till Saturday. This is the final week, besties. <sighs> Screaming, crying, throwing up, but let's make the most of this last week. Also, yes, I forgot to do a little OTD. Got this white top. Currently obsessed with anything over the shoulder, asymmetrical, whatever. And then I've got on these uh, gray pants and my white sneakers. And then I got my big tote bag. So she chill, she a campus cutie type vibe. Besties, besties, besties. So class just finished. I'm with the OG bestie, Ooh. period. Period, babes. <laughs> we're heading to lunch, and then after lunch, we've got one more session, and then we're doing what? Shopping! Shopping!
Besties! Yeah! So anyways, we went to the mall, besties. And don't be mad! Don't be mad! I forgot to take y'all along. Because I had my tote bag throughout the day, I put you guys in my tote bag, and then I stopped and took this bag when we were going to the mall because I was like, I don't need a big bag. But then I forgot my besties are in the big bag. So, yeah. I forgot to take you guys along. But it really is a mall. It's just a mall. It's just a mall. It's not too different. It's just a mall. I got a couple of stuff. I still didn't get everything that I needed. But I bought a lot of stuff. And you know what the funny thing is about this, besties? When I came, my bags were overweight. Like, I took like half of the stuff and left with my mom. I was like, let's put it in the boot, girl. Let me leave it in. And the thing was still packed. Like, I was still having to jump to zip it up type packed, okay? So I didn't have space to buy anything. I know that. I knew that. But what did I do? I still bought stuff. I still need to get a lot more gifts. I did end up buying stuff for myself. Which I'm really proud of because I'm one person. Like, I'm a giver and I'm a gifter. Like, I love to spoil my friends and my family and whatever. But I really actually buy stuff for myself. Like, when we think about it, if I'm keeping it like a buck, I literally struggle to buy stuff for myself. Like, I'm just like... And this time I was like, you know what? You deserve it. You deserve it. That's really what I did. I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff. So I'll show you guys the stuff that I bought for myself. And then I'll show you some of the stuff that I bought for my family. Let's start off with the really small stuff. So I bought my siblings these like graphic tees. I got my brother a Scooby Doo one, which is so cute. And I got my sister Star Wars. My sister isn't very much her, it's not goth, I don't know what they call it. It's not a goth era, but it's very much like she likes the dark aesthetic, baggy stuff. So that's why that makes sense to her. And then I got, oh. Oh, they smell. I wish you guys could smell them. Mm. I wish these were mine. Mm. I got incredible candles. They smell so good. And I'm going to add as part of the gifts to my coach and one to Zara, who is one of the lecturers that I really connected with. Um, yeah, so I got those for them. Just to add on, I, I did bring like little souvenir stuff from home, so I'm going to add that, maybe a note, and that's that. Then I went to this place called uh, Charlotte Russe, we'll say, I don't know how you pronounce it, which had really cute stuff. It had really cute clothes, but I was just like, but Kylie don't buy clothes. Like, but Kylie, you don't need clothes. There's literally half, like, I still haven't worn a half of the outfits that I brought. Like, so I said, but Kylie, you don't need clothes, okay? So I tried to control myself. This was an exception because, how cute! Like, I love the colors. It's just like dress, which I thought was just like so cute. And then I got these pajamas. Like how cute, how cute is she? <laughs> Mind you, I did bring three pajamas and I've only worn one, but pink, pink. <laughs> I was actually saying that to my friends and they were, they noticed that in me. They're like, the, I feel like you buy stuff just cause it's pink. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like when I walk into a store, even when I'm on Shein actually, when I'm, if I see something pink, I'll probably buy it. Just to think, like, I feel like you can be pink and ugly, you know? And then I got my brother, um, these headphones. Cause he's always listening to music. Um, I got this, I don't know if I'm gonna give it to my sister cause it's pink. I did get it cause it's pink, but it's also so cute. So maybe I might give it to one of my friends. But I got a little tumbler with a straw. Stanley Duke. And then ah, I got a little filler cap. It's red. Um, I was seeing the vision because I've got my Jordans and I've got this red sling bag that I still need to style. So I was like, yeah, I think she's gonna work. I think she's gonna work for an outfit. And then, oh yeah. How do they give you hangers here? Culture Shop 101. You leave with a hanger. I got my brother a Jordan top. I love me Jordan. A champion top. How cool. And I love white. Pink and white. 
and then I got this NBA short. They are so cute. I feel like he's gonna love them. Like, cause he's very much in like his like preteen era, so he's like he's a bit of a. We're trying to make him a bit of a cool boy type stuff, you know. And then I got jeweler. Okay, but that's to gift people. So I'm not gonna show you guys that. What did I get from H and M? Mm, oh yes, this is mine. The other one is a gift. I got this. Oh, it's another one of these tops. As you guys can tell, I'm currently obsessed. It's a black one that I got from H&M. Oh, perfection. Oh, perfection. <laughs> oh, yes. And then yesterday as well, I got my sister a BTS like album, which it says too cool for school. I don't know what's on there. But she's gonna freak out. My sister loves BTS. She's into K pop, K drama, K what what. She's into all of that. I just know she's gonna love it. Like when I saw the store, it said K pop nation. I was like, I might just win sister of the year with this one. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's what I got from HM and then I got a gift for someone else from there. And then. Sneak ahead. Sneak ahead March. I think I had much. You guys are gonna see why I chose these sneakers and why I probably would have chosen any sneaker because it's what? But it's so perfect. Look at her. Look at her. And do you know how many pink tops I have? Like, she's gonna go with everything. Oh, she's taking it. Like, she is taking it. And then this, I wanted to show you guys. I didn't buy this, but this was gifted. Like, one of the ladies I was talking to you guys about, Sarah, she's actually an artist. She teaches art. Look at this, guys. Come on. Like, how cute is that? And you guys know me. I love a big toad looking vibe bag. Like, this is my drip. This is my vibe. Like, but yeah, that's basically it. The other stuff is really for personal people. You know what I'm saying? So we're not going to show that. But it was a really fun day at the mall. I was with my chummy, 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 chummies. I was with Wilkins and Godfrey um, and Rita. So that was really fun. Like, we had tons of fun. And then after that, we hung out, got some pizzas at one of the restaurants there. Yeah, it was a good day, okay? I'm sorry y'all missed some parts, but it was a good day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is a really exciting day. Tomorrow is a very, very exciting day. So, catch y'all tomorrow. Hey, get it, wake up, Mr. Wiz, Mr. Wiz, Mr. Fresh, Mr. By himself, he's so impressed. Welcome well, to graduation. Good morning. Ah! Hey, bestie. It is a really exciting day. I'm gonna try to speak fast because I'm running late. But today is graduation. Siri, how do you say graduation in Spanish? It's not just a grata wada, grata wada. The mood is high, the vibes are high. It's a good time. Um, I had work this morning, so I was really busy. Um, had to get ready really quickly. I'm running late right now. Um, I didn't know we were gonna have graduation, so I didn't actually get like a graduation fit. But I think this dress is giving, is giving this girl was unexpected, but she's eating up. Everyone looks so good, like you guys are gonna see, it's exciting. We try to do something with the hair, the earrings, like okay, let me show you guys the dress is giving princess self, 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 self. Princess, 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 graduate, MWF graduate, MSU graduate, what's up? I've got so many thoughts, I've got so much I want to say, but I'm so grateful to God. I'm so grateful, this feels so exciting. I hope I don't cry, I'm going to try not to cry. I miss my mom so much, my mom would be celebrating with me, and I know she would have made this a big deal. I miss her, I love you mom if you're watching this. I miss my friends, I love you guys. I can't wait to celebrate with everyone, it's going to be so amazing. Like, yeah, let's go, let's go and graduate besties, like, we have literally made it, like, we made it! No doubt at 
any point throughout the last six weeks that everyone I was working with, whether that was faculty, staff, a community member, a volunteer, or a fellow, that you were giving the absolute best that you had, that you were moving through that space with care and intention. And I am so grateful to have been able to not only book rooms and figure out meals for you, but to be able to spend time with you all. Listing all your achievements, uh, I decided to uh, write you on a poem. Ooh, ah. I wrote a poem because of you. Ah. So, um, so it's titled Beginnings. I could have said it's, it was nice to meet, but I'd rather say you took me on a journey, oh so sweet. Aww. With 25 turns, my heart and my eyes did see unfamiliar words explored with curiosity. Aww. Through words, arts, concepts, and poetry, I learned from each of you a new story. Aww. From strangers to friends, our fears we shared. Our hopes, our dreams, and challenges we bear, laid bare. I admire your imagination, your creativity spark, your creative spark. In actions and talks, you left a mark. Strong, confident, and daring you are, ready to teach and learn and practice so far. I could have said I wish to roam, to travel to each of your countries that you call home. Mm. But for six weeks, you showed me your dreams, your hopes for yourself and for your people's themes. The time here, these fellows have exemplified, at least from my perspective, and I don't see everything, the ideals of cultural presence and political awareness. Mm. They have immersed themselves in rigorous academic coursework, participated in hands-on community projects, and engaged in meaningful discussions on pressing global issues. We are a rich tapestry, interconnected and woven to form radiant beams of color. We are fabric, soft and supple, holding our skin together. We are Africans, rich in love and yes. joy. We dance the same as language. We hold each other across borders. We are leaders, changing the world around us, celebrating each other. We are building a new Africa, giving the world a human face. Our magic doesn't end, spills over into rivers and oceans and ah. across the shores to imagine the world anew. We are Africans, magicians drenched in smooth honey. Kente and Ankara, Okara Ekbe, Adir, Isiagu, Bokalan, Barkloth, Shreshwe, Kikoi, Kanga, Aso Oge. First of all, on, this, on your selection to be part of this uh, prestigious fellowship and for the hard work that you've done uh, over the years to make you one of the people selected to be part of this program. Um, as such, uh, the program is really a beacon of hope, an opportunity to, uh, for emerging young African leaders and to empower Africans with skills and networks to drive a positive change in their communities and beyond. Honestly, President Kevin Gustowitz, I'd like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the Mandela Washington Fellows who successfully completed a rigorous institute in civic engagement. This achievement is not just a personal milestone, it's a testament to your commitment to making a positive impact in our global community. This program would not be possible without the Global Studies in the Arts Program in partnership with the Institute for Ubuntu Thought and Practice, the Alliance for African Partnership, the Visiting International Professional Program, and the Global Youth Advancement Network. And of course, to the Mandela Washington Fellows, I commend you for your exceptional leadership and passion for civic engagement. 
Throughout the past six weeks, you have demonstrated not only your intellectual prowess, but also your commitment to positive change in your communities and beyond. As you embark on the next part of your journey, I urge you to carry forth the lessons learned and the connections forged during your time here. Congratulations once again to the Mandela Washington Fellows. May your journey ahead be filled with continued growth, empowerment, and impact. Go green. Go white! Yes! throughout the weeks we were creating like a little art thing and they like Zara put it together and it looks so incredible I want to show you guys like it came together so beautifully the butterflies the things we were like threading like art is just beautiful oh my word like just incredible absolutely incredible look at her 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 we made it! I just uh, grotto water, grotto water, water, water! Oh my goodness, this is it! This is it! We made it to the end of the fellowship. We are now MWF and MSU alumni. It feels so unreal. Like, I was so emotional the whole time. I'm like, girl, don't cry. Don't cry for your makeup sake. Don't do that, okay? But yeah, we've got to celebrate your dinner now. So I think I'm just going to change my shoes. Because I still want to look cute. Like people are changing into like cash. I'm like, no, I like looking like a pretty princess. Period. So I'm just going to change my shoes into maybe flats. And then let's go and celebrate. Besties, we are back. We're back home now. Um, yeah, we had we had dinner. Sorry, we had dinner, a little celebratory dinner. I didn't really vlog much because there actually wasn't much happening. It was just like us, like in conversation. Um, a lot of us were like appreciating some of the stuff and everything. Um, so it was very chilled. And then we had dinner, and then we came back. Like it was quick. Um, might go out. 
you know, with some of the other fellows, just like to celebrate um, between us as fellows. But I think I'll leave you guys behind for that. I just, I need to clean up my room because, you know, when you're getting ready, like, and you're getting ready under pressure and you just make a mess and I can't operate in a mess. So I want to clean up now and then change and then we're going to just like walk down downtown and just like see the vibes for the last time. We actually have class tomorrow. I know, unbelievable. We graduated, but we actually still have a class tomorrow and then we've got community service as well tomorrow. And I do have work to do, so I'm not going to like stay up too late like i'm actually just gonna like hang a little bit with them and then come back because i do have to get work done i also have a campaign video i need to shoot for my girl dove and i don't know who's gonna shoot me i don't know what the concept is gonna be so i need to figure that out um so it's gonna be a very long night like i feel like i might just not even sleep because i've got so much work to do and then still need to script that find someone to help me shoot it shoot that in the morning um, this time difference doesn't help as well, but yeah It's been a really good day today. Today's been a really good day. I'm so grateful to God. I felt so beautiful Everyone looked so beautiful. I was so proud of us all like Who would have thought that six weeks would fly by just like that and here we are now on the other end having like Connected with so each other and haven't gotten to know each other so much and have really learned so much and just like Embraced this entire experience I'm so so proud of every single person, but yeah, I'm still gonna take you guys throughout the entire week Today is Wednesday. We've still got Thursday. So like I said tomorrow, there's still classes in community service Friday there is something as well. There's a farewell dinner and then Saturday will be very much like packing I might take you guys Saturday because I'm gonna try and see if I can squeeze in one more activity um, But yeah, so stick around um, We're not done yet. We graduated, but we're not done yet I got to do my TikTok transitions and I'm so happy like y'all better rest my TikTok to see the transitions because I think they Look so cute. I'm so glad I did them. It's so wild because like on my actual graduation like I got so busy that I didn't get to do such content that I had in mind and this time I got to so I'm so glad for that um, But yeah, I'm so grateful to God like This chapter is definitely one of the best chapters of my life. Like I'm so 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 grateful um, But yeah, let's clean up and then I'll see you guys tomorrow I love ya Dear diary, I'm literally literally just a girl Besties losing my mind so overwhelmed so stressed in a good mood still but like I'm losing like because in Totse at once it's crazy today is Friday I last spoke to you guys on Wednesday yesterday chaos chaos that like Picking up the camera was the last thing in my mind. Today again is absolute chaos. I am running late for class, so I do need to speak really quickly because class is happening as I'm speaking. So I need to run because it's an optional class that I really want to be a part of. But today is Friday. I can't believe it's Friday. This is me recording my real feelings. I feel like this week was happening to me and I was like, I was in it, but I like I wasn't in there. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know when things happen to you, not because of, like, you know, I don't know what the English is, but this week flew by, and I feel like it's like I blacked out, and I'm waking up, and they're like, oh, it's the end of the week, and I'm just like, and the end of the week isn't easy either. I still have work. I have content I was shooting early in the morning. I still don't have, like, have some submissions that I haven't completed. I thought I would have packed by now. I still haven't packed, which is all obviously another big stress of mine because when I was packing to come, my mom was helping me and she did a majority of it. And like, I already didn't have space. I bought stuff and I'm gonna buy more stuff and I don't know where I'm gonna fit it. And I still need to like write letters for everyone and like package gifts and see people and say goodbye to certain people and there's just a lot going on at once okay so yeah today is a real overwhelmed girl day but today is also a farewell day like today is the final farewell dinner later on um i was definitely so i had foundation on because i was shooting content in the morning i must remove every single makeup because i just know i'm gonna cry but 
I can't believe it. I can't believe it's done. Like, I can't believe the week is done. That is the most, like, that is crazy. Anyways, we're about to head to the final, final, final class ever that we're going to have here at MSU. And then I'll just take you guys through the day with my, as much as I can. We just need to hurry up right now so we can make it to this class, okay? But I wanted to let you, I want to say hi. I want to say hi. I want to say I'm sorry that I br didn't bring you guys yesterday. It was crazy. I'm going to try to bring you guys today. It is crazy crazy again today but here you, you know you guys are probably used to the chaos by now this is our real life by now like i thought we'd look back at this and be like oh my gosh that is so crazy you're so crazy girl okay let's head to class the bestie who said i must always do OTDs. bestie it's stressful but i'm wearing just this dress today it's got a little cute bag um but yeah literally just a simple girl Besties, we are officially MSU alumni. But ah! we can say we went to Michigan State University. Who you know? Who you know? Who you know? Who you know? <laughs> Eight. It's like sometimes you get it right, and sometimes you just don't. But you know what I was glad for? Yeah. On graduation, you really got it right. I did. You got it right. Hey, ta. I'm not down. Ow. <laughs> But yeah, besties, we're done. We're about to head downtown to go and get some MSU merch so that our parents can wear MSU merch and tell their neighbors to tell a friend, to tell a friend. I'm a Spartan. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Spartan. We're global Spartans, baby. Spartan. Period. Some uh, tops, some merch for my mama and my daddy that says uh, Michigan State University alumni. And then I got some stuff for my friends because I had very clear instructions on certain things to get. So I got that from Target. But yeah, it was a really good day. It was a really good day. Hey, Basta! I love them so much. I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna miss so you so bad. Bestie, bestie, besties. We're back. We're back to the dorm. Um, one thing about time, it's almost like when you've got too many things to do, time also decides to rush. Like time waits for nobody. It's usually about half past five right now. We've got the farewell dinner at six. So all that good stuff, all those great plans I had about packing, gone. That's never gonna happen. Even now, I'm literally just stressed. I'm gonna try and package the little like gift bags that I have. I got some cards from Target, so I also need to write short, short, short messages of gratitude. Um, and then shower. I don't know if I wanna change. The thing is, I don't mind this dress because I actually just wore it like when I was leaving. Um, so I think I might wear it again. I don't think I need to show off and show up because it's just a barbecue. And I don't wanna get more clothes dirty before we leave because i did my laundry yesterday so i don't want to get clothes dirty before we leave because i don't want to like travel with dirty clothes so i don't know if i should change my friends are changing or if i should just wear this dress again because i'm like really chilled with it um but yeah we're gonna write messages package the little they're just little like i bought like little souvenirs like the necklaces and the bands and the beads and whatever so i'm just gonna put those together and then we're gonna shower quickly i don't know if we'll make six like the bus comes at six so i might just ask for your dress in uber because i don't know if i'm gonna get everything done in 30 minutes like i'm really like i'm tired of being stressed okay but let's do that also i absolutely love gifting people i love appreciating people I just love like I'm a gifter. I don't I I like I'm awkward receiving gifts, but I love giving gifts and just like 
you know, expressing gratitude. So this part makes me happy. showered now the time is 7 p.m the bus has left me so i'm gonna have to uber like everyone is gone it took me a little bit of time to write the personalized notes because you know i wanted to personalize to each person i wanted the message to be heartfelt so that did take a little bit of time but i was like it's all right i'll just uber let me not try to brush myself but it's done so we're gonna pack and then request an uber and then we're gonna head to the farewell dinner this is the final like thing yeah event like oh my gosh it's crazy so this is it i tried to do little like personalized notes for each person um some gift boxes let's go That describes the fellowship. Transforming. Amazing. Oh. Fun. Oh. Exciting. Inspiring. Life changing. Motivational. Skilling. Great. Exploring. Adventurous. International experience. Yeah. Transformational. Refreshing. Challenging. Very inspirational. Roller coaster. <laughs> Life changing. It was just what I needed. The roller coaster. Mm. Yeah. Great. <laughs> An exploration. And adventures. Uh, mm. uh, uh, to show, to reach and cope. So there much is. life in every tale we tell of battle to do and dreams to swell. In every hug and every shared view, there's a bit of us and so much of Ubuntu. Wow. I can still hear the laughter from all of you because it's so little of me and so much of you. Aww. This is for strangers that become family. For men of mystery like Murtala, a sense of humor behind the time it takes you to get to know him. This <laughs> is for close friends becoming soulmates. Sara. Wanja <laughs> with a sunflower soul hidden behind oh, facial expressions that just can't pretty. hide her emotion for <laughs> Hannah who defies all first impressions and is involved in crafting meaningful relationships future prime minister of feminist Ethiopia Ooh. is for Abo Chomi 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 <laughs> Rita Bile, a lover of friendships and good times a karaoke king yes. and queen with <laughs> a zest <laughs> for life that shines through your words ah. your Passion is sublime and contagious. Mm. Wilkins. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is for you, artist soul, an outgoing director in African kilt. Your love of people is seen in how you gift, and us people that love you see you as the gift. This is for our Ignite Speaker. Yeah. <laughs> 
social butterfly, soft life liver, liker of nice things, who is a sanctuary, a safe space for those back home and us gathered in your room. <laughs> this is for you, Botan. <laughs> Guided by belief and passion, we call it influencer because you have the power to change and the stories you tell shift how we see ourselves because you see us in all of these cameras. This the learner uh, who is also the jack of all trades. Wilkins, please. Hey besties, um, quick update, I've got two minutes on this card, but my card was full yesterday, I literally had to deal with a couple of stuff so that I can shoot this. I tried to shoot my phone so I'll try to insert those videos, but last night was so bittersweet, we were all so emotional, people were crying, it really was the final goodbye, um, we had a little cute fun awards thing, people had musical items and poetry items and speeches, it was really really emotional. Today is the last day, it's the last day here in East Lansing, I thought I'd take you guys throughout the day because it does seem to be a very like fun day, like we're going shopping now. Um, I finally packed, um, we're gonna go to the arcade, there's a restaurant that I really enjoyed the food at that I want to go back to, um, I also want to go back to the, ch I want to go to the children's garden, not go back, go to the children's garden, so I feel like content wise it would be really cute, but at the same time, this card is full and I don't want to delete anything, it's got Detroit's content and this, so I'm just gonna leave it here, and also I feel like on the other end, I feel like it's the Holy Spirit telling me to be fully immersed and present on this day. And I can't do that if I'm vlogging. So I'm just gonna soak in the final day here. But yeah, if you've watched this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope this vlog comes together. Don't forget to like, to comment, and to subscribe. And until the next one, besties, I love you. Mwah.